I'd had blurred vision and a severe headache and I put it down just to like a migraine type thing and pressure from work. But the next morning I'd suffered a stroke. What I didn't realise at the time that this was going to be a life changing event, not just myself but also my family and friends. So I was the sort of person, I was a workaholic, I loved my job, all I was thinking about was, you know, why, why can't I go back to work? And I was angry and frustrated, you know, I was a non-smoker, a non-drinker, I was a former football umpire, I thought I was fit and I was very active, and I kept on asking myself, why did I have a stroke? What did I do wrong? I kept on blaming myself, but, you know, things do happen. Mum always said to uh, my whole family, that's one thing I don't want to ever have as a stroke. Even the, the word stroke scared my mum. She was in shock because, as I said before, like, you know, when you're fit and active and a non-smoker, the last thing mum expected was for me to have a stroke. At the time I was very selfish and thought it was just all about me, being a, being a survivor and who, who'd suffered the stroke, but I was forgetting about the wonderful support my wife gave me, my family, my friends, my work colleagues. Yeah, I look back now, what is success? Like, what is money sometimes? I've, I've got a different perspective totally on life now. I see the stroke now as I've been given a second chance at life. And I see my life in two parts, life before the stroke and life after the stroke. I feel privileged to be an ambassador because the information I'm now learning on a daily basis that I, that I can deliver to community groups. Once we uh, make people aware, um, they're more educated, they're more aware. I've even had stories now where through to all the ambassadors, not just my talks, that we have saved lives. I meet other stroke survivors, you know, you're one, I'm one, um, and you've got to start somewhere. And any improvement you see, whether it's 1% or 5%, it's still an improvement. When I was recovering, um, there were certain things I was doing that I was embarrassed about. And I didn't want to share that information. And it's important because other people can think, well, gee, that, oh, oh, that happened to me as well. And it's so empowering. So we're talking about an illness that can be, can be fatal. So the more you know about it beforehand, um, and the more you're aware of it as the community, we're all a lot better off, I think. And one person, um, that I met, he said, have, you, have I ever told you about the three P's, Jeff? And I said, well, what are the three P's? He goes, persistence, perseverance, and patience. And that's what you need as a stroke survivor. I think I've had to reinvent myself and look forward, not backward all the time, because I was doing that. I'm now more positive. Um, I now appreciate my family and friends more. Now I get a second chance at life, and I'm more accepting of uh, what's, what's happened to me. And there is life after stroke. <laughs>